How's it, Aloha gang? Welcome back to Hi Now. We're going to continue to celebrate Mahina Olelo Hawaii with our Kaka'ako, a special, unique event taking place uh, tomorrow, actually. Joining us here, we have Gary Ivora from Kamehameha Schools, Kuhao Zane from uh -huh. Six Zane Creations. Mahalo nui for being here, boys. Mahalo. Thank you, for, thank you for coming in, and I want to talk a little bit about what's taking place uh, and why February, uh, Gary, is so special for Kamehameha Schools. Well, thanks for, the, for uh, having us here today. Um, but Kamehameha Schools is really proud to celebrate um, Mahina Olela Hawaii. Um, it's something special to Kamehameha Schools, as, as you can probably understand. Mm -hmm. um, it really, um, the culture that we try to promote and working with people like Kuhao to promote um, Olela Hawaii is, is very important to us. So tomorrow, um, we are working with a group called Creative Mornings, and they do free um, lectures in the morning, breakfast lectures, and uh, it's going to be held at the barn in Ka our Kaka'ako, um, 8.30 to 10, I believe, mm -hmm. yeah. And um, Kuala's going to do a great job in promoting the cultures and arts and everything that is uh, connected with Olela Hawaii and how he promotes it in his works and arts. Yeah, definitely. And Kuala, I want to transition over to you. Um, part of the very first graduating class for Punana Leo, yeah. uh, especially yeah. um, ce celebrating this month and, and what it means to you and what can people anticipate uh, with you participating? I think uh, with Punana Leo, just having that in kind of in my background too, and especially being one of the first classes that had uh, graduated from Punana Leo, I think having that immersion background definitely helped to kind of set the foundation. And at the same time, I think with Sigzane Designs being you know, of course, Aloha shirts and everybody, you know, the uniform. Thank you very yeah. much. Mm -hmm. I appreciate I'm it. I'm sharp today. I'm yeah. still paying for college. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but with Aloha shirts kind of playing the uniform within Hawaii, I think that it kind of gave us an opportunity and a platform to be able to not only sell Aloha shirts, but share the story and the narrative behind our designs. And I think that that's a big opportunity there. Tomorrow for Creative Mornings, I'll be sharing a little bit of the background behind our designs, hopefully some of the cultural narrative that is backing some of the artwork. Mm -hmm. um, and at the same time, I want to mahalo the Honolulu chapter of Creative Mornings because they're the ones that submitted this theme native uh, for all of the 200 something chapters that there are in you know different cities out there. And so mahalo to them because I think now it meant, it meant that all of these other chapters have to go and find their native designers or their native artists out there to be able to give them an opportunity to talk. So I think it's a great opportunity. Absolutely. And being a part of the very first uh, Punana Leo class, um, what is your um, impression now of Punana Leo from the time you've graduated to, I mean, more and more keiki, it seems like, are, are being more cognizant of Olelo Hawaii and it continues to grow. Yeah, no, totally. And, you know, I think I think it's really showing its fruits or it's showing its dividends in some of the, some of the kids that are coming. I mean, not, they're not kids, but, you know, like with Kaikena, mm -hmm. with his music, or Ikaka Mai with his music, I think that not only are they spreading their sound, but now they're spreading the narrative behind the Olel Hawaii within that. So I think that not only can you come and enjoy Hawaii from an aesthetically Hawaiian level, but now you can enjoy it from a sonically Hawaiian level. Uh, Gary, I want to transition back over to you. Sure. Yeah, so with Creative Mortal, uh, Kuhao was participating. What else can people anticipate um, with the event? He's going to be the guest speaker, but there's there's plenty of stuff happening. Absolutely. So. Uh down at our Kakako, you know, Salt, and we have uh, Kamehameha has a Kamehameha Schools has a lot of other commercial outlets. And if you go through the commercial outlets, you'll see signages with a small QR code. If you uh, point your phone at the QR code, open it up, there'll be an interactive game that provides a lot of Olelo Hawaii. So you can use simple phrases on how to say your name, where you're from, how to order coffee at the shop. So um, any of our outlets, uh, Windward Mall, uh, Hollywood Store Lots. Uh, Kuono Marketplace in Kahala, Salt to Kakaako. Um, so we're trying to incorporate the Olela Hawaii in everything we do in all of our commercial outlets. So it's really something good. If you want more information on it, you can go to rkakako.com and we have the whole lineup right there. Okay, fantastic. And in addition to that, how do people just stay up to date with all of the events taking place? Because throughout February, Kamehameha Schools has been doing the time. Right, yeah. so I would, I would encourage everyone to go to uh, rkakako.com. There's a events uh, tab you can go scroll down and see all the events that are happening. And uh, we have a lot of events. I mean, next month we'll have our Keiki Street Fest coming up. Everyone's kind of aware of our night markets we have down in Kakako. So, we keep it active, we keep it um, interesting, and we keep it fun. You know, it's a lot of good shopping, uh, a lot of good food, for sure. <laughs> Everybody knows about the food. Um, and we have a great, great community. The, the community in Arkakako is a, a diverse community with, um, you know, we, we want to say it's a 21st century thriving community, urban community that people can be proud of, and we are as well. Absolutely. Gary, kuhalo, mahalo nui for being oh, here. Mahalo. Mahalo. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Uh, right now at this time, we're going to send things